It's not every day that I have the opportunity to solo fill a flag to save it from being burned. But in this video, that is exactly what we're gonna go and do. Hello my friends and welcome back, I'm Chisco Gaming, a sponsored content creator for Rise of Kingdoms. In fact, this video has been sponsored by the makers of Rise of Kingdoms. Today, whoo, we teleport over to a flag that was getting burned and filled with infantry to try to save it. Now I've gotta say, this KVK has been a lot of fun. This footage is from a couple days ago. We recorded it, it was like first thing in the morning. I have my garrison captain. Zenobia YSS in a different flag. I left it there and I teleported over to try to save this one. And I put my other four marches into this flag. And now I'm starting to refresh them because, yeah, one of them's getting weak, the first one that went in. So we'll just send a full march of troops. I'm just going to keep doing this until we beat the rally or, uh, I don't know, I'm out of infantry, I guess. <laughs> ooh, that'd be pretty awkward. So you can see now, ooh, the rally got some calves in there. So this, this they're in trouble. They're in trouble, and in this video, we're going to showcase the reports. We're going to talk about the meta and Rise of Kingdoms, because guess what, folks? It's a Zenobia meta, and there is going to be a ton of crazy war footage coming. In fact, on Friday, we're going to be streaming Battling versus Two Imperiums. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, throw a like on this video and subscribe, because you are not going to want to miss all of the insane action that awaits us. So here you can see we finally have beat off those attackers, they were not able to keep the rally full, and we're going to jump in game in just a moment, showcase those reports. Here you can see my Zenobia was at another flag. I accidentally retreated it, and this was a problem I had in this KVK. Is basically, wherever my Zenobia would go, the enemy would ignore, because why would you rally into a really well-geared Zenobia YSS when you could pick a different flag to go and hit? But let's jump to the reports. Okay, here is the report. These are our allies, LXKO. They're in our war camp, but not from our kingdom. I really had no clue what the quality of the garrison was. We're going to get a look at their stats, though, and they're really pretty strong. So this is a very, very solid Xeno-Theo combo defending this garrison. Well captained, and you can see when I start to <laughs> fill that flag... And there are a couple other people that do join in with me, so it's not really a solo fill. Uh, but I did dump four marches in there, which is all the marches I had to, to use, right? So you can see the health of the garrison jumps way up from, like, you're getting wrecked. And it was staying really low. Like, when you're in this range, when you're way less than your max capacity for a prolonged period of time, usually the reports are extremely negative. And what you're about to see is a testament to the fact that we are in a very, very heavy Zenobia Garrison meta. It is out of control. There's the damage. We lost 402,000 dead permanently, 4.3 million power loss. They lost 598,000, that's 100% dead troops, 3.7 million power loss. I, I and my entire time playing Rise of Kingdoms and not sure that I have ever played in a time in which a garrison could go so low for so long and still trade positive on the quantity of dead troops. And although we lost by power, I would view this as a victory for sure. The fact that we stopped that flag from burning and didn't go massively negative in the trade is kind of unbelievable to me. So right now we are in a garrison meta. What that means is you put your Zenobia with Almost literally, and I do mean almost literally, any other legendary commander and just roll your face on the keyboard and collect the victory. It's that simple. And okay, it's maybe not that simple, but Mightiest Governor is for Zenobia right now. And if you're not thinking about getting access to Zenobia, if you're a garrison captain, you really should be. Even if you don't have any other premier garrison captains, Zenobia with Esong even will do. So, getting a look at the troop buffs, I want to talk for a moment about the rally and the garrison here, because, okay, I'm showing you this report, but maybe the stats were not quite as strong for one side or the other, and that led to the end result here. We get a look at their stats, they've got 95% infantry attack, 150 defense, and 91 health. As I mentioned, that is really solid, like really solid. If we look at the attackers here, 
They've got 147 Archer Attack, 175 Defense, and 90 Health. I think I sit at about 50% higher Attack when I use that combo. But if we look at a report of my garrison doing some work, you can see that when I teleported over, in fact, my Xeno YSS got hit. So they thought that I had left, but I hadn't. I was still the captain. And when we get a look at this report, I mean, yeah, this is what Xeno YSS is doing to rallies, and it's gross. It's totally gross. 103,000 dead for me, 269,000 dead for them. That's 865,000 power loss for the defenders and 1.9 million power loss for the attackers. And, you know, look, this is not like a Chiskul has an amazing garrison thing. Like uh, anybody garrisoning with Xeno YSS was doing this. It's crazy. So if we look at the buffs here, right, I'm, I'm like really not trying to pat myself on the back. I'm just showing you that the meta is weird right now and it's all garrison. We look at these uh, infantry stats here. I have 198% attack, 213% uh, defense, and 85% health. So the garrison with the Theodora, obviously YSS gives a lot of stats, but I mean, they're comparable. They're definitely comparable. In fact, I don't know. That, I mean, they got some really good gear on that Xeno Theo that was garrisoning. So that is really impressive. And if we get a look at the archer stats that I use, I did rally a flag as well. In fact, I don't know. They attacked our garrison again over there where I was filling. We got a two-for-one trade there. And then I started launching rallies with my Ramses and Nebu. And you can see they had a Charles Theodora. And... It's all about the Zenobia garrison. Zenobia anything is going to do well, but I would expect infantry to do poorly into a Ramses Nebu. That is that is not going to go well. So uh, 261,000 dead for us, 605,000 uh, dead for them. 2.1 million power loss for us, and that's a 4.5 million power loss for them. We look at the buffs here, and when I'm running rallies with archers, I'm at about 201% attack. 180 per, uh, 187% archer defense, and about 80% health. I don't know if at this time I had a rune. Sometimes there's just like not runes around. Uh, I'm in the Alliance NL right now, which has a few different holy sites than uh, Wolf has, but that's pretty similar, quite frankly. But just looking at these stats, we can see that the player who was rallying that garrison that I was solo filling is short about 50% archer attack from where we're at, from gear and buffs. That definitely influenced the fact that Garrison could have such a profound comeback. Now, there are a lot of theories floating around right now as to why the heck Zenobia is so strong in Garrison. Because you know that I advocate that a commander like Richard I really kind of sucks in Garrison. He does a lot of healing. The thing is that Zeno does have damage factor. So she is doing damage. And her active skill doesn't just heal, neither does Richard the First, but what it does that's very powerful is it gives a massive amount of health, 50%, okay? And it gives a massive amount of all damage, 30%. It's gross. It's very, very powerful. And if you're nearly topped off with your garrison, the healing keeps you all the way topped off. It's very, very effective. The other thing that I can only assume is working really well for Zenobia right now is the fact that she has the support tree. The support tree is strong against skill damage. And yeah, the combos with archers that are rallying do a lot of skill damage. So Zenobia is just extremely well positioned against this meta. She's also giving health, which is a very important defensive stat. She's also reducing the normal attack damage you take and increasing the normal attack damage you deal. This is really, really important when you're defending against a swarm. It's really effective in reducing the swarm's ability to take you down when you're reducing the normal attack damage. Every single one of them is dealing. Yeah, I, I'm very impressed with Zenobia. Right now, I, no matter what game mode you're using her for, if you put her in the garrison, I think you can't go wrong. Now, if you thought my solo filling a flag was crazy, I want to just show you an even more insane solo flag fill. Now, this flag we covered on stream. I think it was day two of our streaming The Crazy War. Maybe it was day three, where Al Sadani Kong solo fills a flag. Who's Al Sadani Kong? Oh, you know, 
350 million power, baby. Ooh, and he dropped March after March after March into this flag. And the attackers, they didn't just rally it. They swarmed the ever-living heck out of this flag. They swarmed the ever-living heck out of this flag. And I know I've covered this on some streams. If your takeaway here is that Attila Takeda is good, that's the wrong takeaway. The Attila Takeda rally goes even because all of these marches are swarming. I want you to just think about the volume of debuffs that are on this garrison. Now, this one's just getting hit by the Theodora AoE. However, here is 32,000 to 99,000, the Saladin William Swarm. Here is a Guan Leo Swarm, 40,000 dead for the garrison, 58,000 dead for the attacker. A Constantine Alex Swarm, 32,000 dead for the garrison, 84,000 dead for the attacker. If you thought that my solo garrison fell, and I'm just going to flip through these at a faster clip because there's so many of these. If you thought that my solo garrison fell was cool, you're going to want to go watch this on, on the stream that we did. I'll have a card up in the top so you can check out the stream, and I'll try to get a timestamp for exactly when that moment was. This was just a completely insane day of battling in KVK, and the solo filling is really a thing. I honestly and sincerely do not know how you take a flag from a T5 player that has Zenobia and they're garrisoning and it's got good gear. If a T5 player with a bunch of power, like 200 million, sits down next to that flag, you basically have to run them out of troops before they're going to lose the garrison. Like it's just, no, I don't, I don't know that it's possible with a single rally or even a double rally to take it down. It's just completely bonkers. So there we go. Wow. I mean, there's still more in this report. I'm still flipping through more in this report. A few negative trades for the garrison there when it starts to get weaker at the very tail end of things, but I think you get the idea. I don't know how many millions of troops were lost in this report. Somebody adds it up. Maybe I'll add that to the pinned comment, but I mean, phew. garrison swarms are insane. And on the topic of insane, tonight we're spinning the Trajan wheel, not once, but twice. We're going to do that before reset and after reset. Tonight on stream, we are going to be entering the Heroic Anthem KVK on my restart project. Tonight on stream, we are going to be doing the Shadow Legion on my main. We have so much to do. You're going to want to tune into that stream. Throw a like on the video if you enjoyed this. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss all of the crazy action this KVK. 2v1, two Imperiums versus one. We're the one. That's going to happen this Friday, and I'll see you then.